Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome back again to JavaScript series. Before we proceed on to this series, uh, let me mention that I made a mistake in one of the earlier to earlier video. And thank you so much, Amir, for reminding me. I highly appreciate that. Uh, I actually said that it's document URL. It was not document URL. It was document.url. Silly mistake. Uh, but I really am sorry about that. Uh, thank you so much, Amir, for uh, mentioning me that and correcting me there. I really appreciate that. So please read the documentation. That's why I always recommend them that sometimes even I make mistakes and everybody makes mistakes. So read them and it's always good. Now let's come back to our topic here and let's fix up the some stuff that we made a mess. First and foremost, in our particular case, it really makes sense that we don't use the script tag at the head because we are doing stuff which is uh, manipulating these paragraphs and stuff, which is only possible if these are loaded first. So let's cut that and paste it at the bottom. And there we go. Now they are loaded and we can manipulate them. Okay, so and uh, what we can do is we can just go on to the script and the goal of this script is how we can change the content inside this paragraph tag. Okay, that is pretty easy. So I can just, we can, we have seen all this stuff so we can just comment that out, no big deal. And what we can do now is we can, we can use this query selector and can manipulate first of all one paragraph. Once we have learned that we can apply our knowledge and can change all the paragraphs. So, so let's just call this as const and we're gonna call this as my p element, uh, elements, there we go. And what I'm gonna be using is document.querySelector. So first of all, I'm gonna be using just the query selector. And since I'm only interested in the paragraph tag, and since I already talked about it, this query selector is very eager to return you the answer. Whenever it's gonna spot the very first element that you're gonna looking up for, it's gonna give you the result back. So the question is how you can change that. Obviously we have seen that if I uh, print this my p element, go back on to this, clean that and run that again, it gives me the entire p tag, which is not at all possible to change directly by saying this p tag equals some title, it's not possible. So there are other properties in this my p element which I can use automatically. And as I put a dot, notice we have a lot of things that we can do this outer text and there's a lot, remove attributes. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can do. Probably you can add, introduce new CSS into it, remove some of the CSS, remove some of the attributes, can use some childs. There, there's a lot you can do. The one uh, that we will be using in this case is, uh, which is text content. And yes, it's self-explanatory that you can change the change the text inside this element by using this text content. And it's really simple. All you have to do is just make sure it's equal to some string that you want to change. And I'm gonna say I am being changed uh, using JS. So that makes sense. So as soon as I do that, uh, we don't need to see anything in the console log. You can see that directly at the page, it says I am being changed using JS. Now this is for the one element that we are using. This is for query selector for paragraph. It works exactly same for h1. It works exactly same for any other tag, however you want to manipulate it. Now that we have learned that how we can use this, I'm gonna comment this out again so that you can have it later on for sure. I want to use my looping knowledge that how you can, I can loop through this entire paragraphs and can change them, all of them at once. So let's just see how we can do that. We're gonna say const and we're gonna say my p elements and that is gonna be document dot and I want to this time use query selector all. Now notice this query selector all returns you an array uh, in which all the elements of similar tags or IDs or classes that you're looking up for is there. So in this case, I am just looking for all the p's Surely I can select all the elements which have same IDs. No, IDs don't have, usually are not same, uh, which have the same classes or anything like that. You got the point, you got the point. Okay, so how I can use my looping knowledge, I can simply say my p elements and I can use a for each loop. Now, since this for each is uh, looping through each element of it, I can just use it. So what I can do, uh, let me do something and I'm gonna give you one assignment for you, okay? So I'm gonna be using this function and there we go, my function body. So what I can do in this function, it is gonna be going through each paragraph element. I'm gonna be selecting that paragraph. I'm gonna be calling it as P. And on this P, I can use this uh, text content and can say, uh, I am changed 
using loop in JS. So now as soon as I save this, this is gonna get converted into all the paragraphs will be converted into I am changed using JS loop. Let's just save that and see that and notice all of the paragraphs are being changed, okay? So you can see we have learned loops a long while ago and now we are using our knowledge to manipulate these things. Now similarly in the upcoming videos we can surely learn about how we can create some elements as well and can delete some element. Now a good thing about uh, removing the elements is actually it is really really simple. All I have to do instead of this I can do is dot remove and that's it that's pretty much it and of course it's a function. So that's it. I don't have to do anything. I have to just save it and you will notice immediately that nothing loads up on my page even if I hit a reload because my JavaScript is now removing all the elements. So it's completely possible and we can do a lot of fun stuff with that. Okay, let me hit a command Z because our goal was not to remove, our goal was simply to change the things. Okay, now here's a quick assignment for you. Can you convert this easy peasy function into an arrow function? That would be really an amazing and challenge and you can perform all of this in just single line. So here's your quick assignment in the comments section, please, please, change this function into an arrow function and notify me there. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video and we're going to talk a little bit more about the DOM and manipulation of that in the upcoming videos. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's not really hard to find. It's just my name Hitesh Chaudhary and I know it's a little bit hard to spell and uh, pronounce but anyways, hit that subscribe and I'm going to catch you up in the next video.